Hello. This is our song. I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. No tender voice like thine can peace afford. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. I need thee every hour. Stay thou nearby. Temptations lose their power when thou art nigh. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. I need thee every hour, in joy or pain. Come quickly and abide, or life is vain. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. I need thee every hour, most holy one. Oh, make me thine indeed, thou blessed Son. I need thee, oh, I need thee. Every hour I need thee. Oh, bless me now, my Savior. I come to thee. Amen. Good morning. Every hour we truly need the Lord. We can't do without him. So thank you, David Lee, for that fine song. Now our theme for this morning, exactly what is the church? Some people have a bad opinion of the church. They say bad things about the church but they don't realize all the good the church does. This is the church being this building? No. The church means the people. Many people don't realize that. When we read the Bible, we read this verse that says, it's in Acts chapter 2, it says, the believers met together in the temple yard every day. They all had the same purpose. They ate together in their homes. They were happy to share their food and ate with joyful hearts. In the King James, when we read it, it's a, a pretty much the same thing. They means the church. If the church means the building, like a while ago I showed you a picture, then how can the building meet together in the temple yards? How can the building share its food and eat with joyful hearts? It's a building. No, it's not the church. The people are the church. I want to emphasize that the people are the church. No, only the people can share food and eat together with joy in their hearts. People.
the believers. That means those who believe in Jesus. That's what the church means. People who believe in Jesus. Now, that reading on, the believers praised God and all the people liked them. What does that mean? That means that their behavior, other people would look, watch, and they like, they say, I like those people. They're nice people. That's what the church should be like. People who behave to cherish the other people. This can happen when people outside look and they're impressed with the people. It says more and more people were being saved every day. The Lord was adding those people to the group of believers. In the King James it says the church. They were added to the church. As more and more people believe and obey Jesus, the Lord adds them to the church. The early Christians met every day at the Jewish temple, in the temple yards. A long time ago, the temple, a long ago, allowed different groups of Jews to meet. Now remember, the early church was Jews, was Jewish people. At that time, the temple allowed different groups to worship there, as long as they didn't bother others. They were quiet. They could meet in groups. But then, in 70 AD, the Roman army destroyed the Jewish temple and Jerusalem. It was awful. Today, the Jews have no temple in Jerusalem. There's not one. What do you see? The Golden Dome, that's a mosque, or a Muslim mosque, where Muslims meet and worship. It's established where the temple was a long time ago. A Muslim mosque. There may be a, a new word for you. It means a house of worship. It stands where the old temple was. Today, Jews can only gather the, the one remaining wall that was from the temple that was destroyed. And it's called the Wailing Wall. The wailing means crying. The Jews pray, and some cry, and they pray, and they'll write their prayers and put them in the cracks of the wall. But the Apostle Peter says all Christians make up God's temple today. We don't have a building, but we will have a temple today through the church. You also are like living stones. They're, we're, we're alive, They're, we're not dead. Like some people go to worship and they sit 
And y'all, and they made those off. Mm -hmm. they're, they're like dead stones. Mm -hmm. We should be living stones mm -hmm. that will make America strong. Mm -hmm. If more and more people will focus on the Lord. Let yourselves be used to build a spiritual temple. Not physical, but a spiritual temple. The church, or people of Christ, is made up of living stones that build up a temple. In Old Testament times, when the temple was still in Jerusalem, there were priests who served who served God for the people of Israel. Today, we still have priests. Yes, but not the same kind the Israelites had many years ago. You're like living stones. Build your, let yourselves be used to build a spiritual temple. To be holy priests who give spiritual sacrifices that he will accept. You give those sacrifices through Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament times, long ago, priests made sacrifices of animals to the Lord. They would set them on the altar and offer them as sacrifices. Today, Christians are also priests of God, but they do not make sacrifices of animals. That stopped. There's no more animals to kill and sacrifice. What kind of sacrifices? Okay. Paul is talking in the book of Romans, and it says, So brothers and sisters, I beg you to do something. God has shown us great mercy. So offer your lives as a living sacrifice to God. Your offering must be only for God and will be pleasing to Him. This offering of yourselves is the spiritual way for you to worship or serve God. Today, Christians offer up their lives for the Lord. So, through Jesus, we should never stop offering our sacrifice to God. But not animals, no. Your own life. That sacrifice is our praise coming from lips that speak his name. You know, the deaf, many can't speak right because they can't hear, but they can sign. You can. And don't forget to do good for other people. And share with other people. These are the sacrifices that please God. You notice it says, in what we read, several kinds of sacrifices, not of animals. So what do we do?
four things we sacrifice in our work as the king's priest. Our own lives is first. I remember one story I heard. That sounds pretty good. Talking about the preachers or missionaries to India, or the Native Indians, or Native Americans. Uh, one of the Native Americans listened while the missionary spoke, and he went over and said, I offer my wampum. If you don't know what wampum is, that means money. He offered it. The missionary, the missionary ignored him. He kept preaching. They went forward and said, I offer my teepee. And the preacher didn't listen. Then the Indian continued. I will give my animals. Again, the missionary ignored him. And finally, the Indian says, I give myself to the Lord. Okay, yes, that's what God wants. That's our own lives. Second, our praise to God. We should be in a habit of praising the Lord. Doing good for other people. That's a good sacrifice. It feels good when we do uh, good to other people. And fourth, sharing with other people. Some people are tight. They have no money, no food. So we share with them and help them. And that's our sacrifices. These are the sacrifices that please God. Remember that. Christ Church is people who have believed in Jesus and obeyed him. Christ Church is a spiritual temple as well as priests of God. Today, do we fit the descriptions of Jesus' church? It's up to you. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for making us your people, the church that belongs to you. We can't understand everything of what the church is, but we are people. We pray that you will teach us what we should do in your church. Help us to full, uh, fulfill what you want from us, our sacrifices, like our own lives, and doing good to other people, and praising your holy name. Help us to do that. We want to feel full of thanks to you. We pray that you will bless us and help us walk in your way and continue to give you our sacrifices. We pray through Jesus' name, amen. I hope that this lesson helps you to understand about offering sacrifices to the Lord, not of animals, but of yourself. You praise the Lord 
and help by helping praising the Lord, helping people. May God bless you, and we continue to love you.